Okay, so I'm logged in as a student now, so let's see what the student sees. I've gone into my Google Classroom. Bear in mind, I have not been in Edpuzzle before as the student, so we'll just see how easy it is. So I can see I've got two assignments there under my stream. I can check them under classwork as well. So I'm gonna go into the burpees one. Okay, so it comes up and there's a link there. I can also mark it as done as usual, but before I do that, I want to go into Edpuzzle. So I just click on the link. So it's going to ask me to log in. The students can log in using their student account because I'm already logged in in the browser. It's taking me straight in. And I'm taken straight to the assignment page. I can start playing the video and I can see that I've got a couple of things to do. There's two questions I need to answer. If I look down at the timeline, I can see there's a question there, a question there and a question there. Now, when I say a question, obviously we know this last one is just a note, but the two questions are there. So if I start playing it. Let's break down the burpee. It's common that everyone knows what a burpee is. Basically, uh, it's... You'll notice that I can't actually forward the video. I have to watch it. And if I let it play until the first question, you're going to see what that looks like. Okay, so the video is paused and the first question has appeared and I have to answer that question if I want to proceed. I've got the option to re-watch the video up to now to just, if the answer's buried in there somewhere. But otherwise, I can go ahead and answer it. So I'm just gonna pick an answer here. Actually, I'll pick that answer and I'll click Submit. So it tells me that I've got the question right, which is good real-time feedback. And now I can continue. The video continues to play until the next question. video is paused again. Here's my long form open-ended question. So again, the student can type in whatever they want. Submit it. And the video continues. Finally, this is the last interactivity. And you can see it's just a note. The note just appears, the video pauses, and the student can continue to the end of the video. Once a student reaches the end of the video, you can see that Edpuzzle confirms that they've done it uh, and they can show results. But right now I haven't completed the results because there was a long form question. So the student is effectively finished now. There's just one more step that they should follow. So they can close Edpuzzle and return to Google Classroom. And in Google Classroom, they can click Mark as done. That lets the teacher know that their work is ready to be corrected.